It's not good for anyone to be alone. Just do what makes you happy and remember to breathe. Thanks, Promise, for that reminder and for penning your thoughts down for us. The African Artists Foundation has put together this group exhibition which creates a platform to express the limitless potential of the future. Unusual Suspects is an exhibition put together by the African Artists Foundation in Lagos as 12 artists explore and interrogate new expressions. Unusual Suspects basically is an exhibition that surveys like different modes of expression and approaches employed by young contemporary African image makers they, to like relay, relay their narrative and to like um, talk about their cultural histories. Um, in Unusual Suspects in the exhibition you can see elements of um, abstracted forms, um, iconography, symbols, um, portraiture. It's like it's, it's an all-round exhibition. new vernaculars, new dialects, how are ex new expressions of gender being shown through visual art, how are we being more inclusive, how can art make space for everybody. We are interested in these new languages, so these artists are making up new dialects for the future. So when we look back in a hundred years from now, a thousand years from now, this will be the heritage. So that, that's the, the, how the artists were chosen on that basis. The limitless potentials of the African cultural identity is revealed by these creatives using their individual styles and techniques. Um, I'm a scribble artist. Um, I would like to call my work um, Jagaism. Um, Jagaism is coming from the word Jaga Jaga. That is um, art drawn from nonsense. Um, basically, it's me bringing crooked lines together um, and forming something very beautiful with it. So it's more like I'm um, putting imperfections together to actually form something beautiful. I work in traditional teams. I work in what I call Ukara, new Ukara. And I also work using Uli colors and Uli designs. And I also make some paintings that are representative of the Umbari structure that we used to have in the past in Igbo land. I generally call my style Ainoism, and Ainoism is, is an art coin from my name, which is Aino. I'm a child born with the umbilical cord wrapped around my neck. So now, and the symbol on the forehead of my mask is the symbol of the Aino, which symbolizes life, struggle, and journey. So now, I make use of uh, motion lines, patterns, and also my mask, fuse it with my mask to tell the story and journey of people around me and also myself because um, the Ainoism is, is a genesis from me and I'm trying to like use it to generalize life and also give people a sense of you know oneness and understanding so the oneness and unity is what the mask represents because the mask I use it in all my works and it's the same face for everybody My style of my work is expressionism. I use, um, it's like more or less like pop art. I use colors a lot. I use script paper. 
and lace fabric in my works. They take time to explain more about their interpretations. My works are centered around um, gender fluidity, um, toxic masculinity, and um, feminism. Um, basically, my works lend a voice to uh, support and um, document the resilience of um, non-binary humans in Nigeria and, uh, and abroad. I'm currently showing four paintings and this works are two different series. Uh, the first one is, is called Reincarnation and also the other one is titled A Love Story. So Reincarnation is a, is a, is a, is a two-piece series whereby I try to explain um, the return or the rebirth of the culture of the African mask, but in this case, using my own self-taught or self-developed mask to express this journey. And when I'm talking about rebirth or reincarnation, I'm trying to express how this rebirth of this mask is coming into the current world we are in, a world whereby things are broken, are cracked, and there are so many crises, and it's coming in a, in a very colorful and um, um, spiritual way to come heal the mind of people and our way of life. That's where my mask, which, I'm, which I call Enio, Enio means human being, I'm using, to use, I'm using it to, uh, um, as a medium to um, make this move you know, to contribute to their um, society. My paintings are under a series titled Rise of the Underdogs. This is actually talking about the concept of women and power. Yes. It's uh, a series that challenges the generally accepted notion of a woman's so-called position in the society and uh, how that power has so long been a man's thing that it affects the way we see women in positions of leadership and influential positions. So. I'm really hoping to use this to challenge that notion and uh, because the world is the world is undergoing changes like fast undergoing change today we, have, we live in a world of female vice presidents female supreme court justice female fighter pilots and so on in positions that would not normally expect expect a woman to be and so it's difficult for the society to actually look at a, a woman without referencing her gender without connecting her to something else that should be a support system for being in that position. I, I don't feel it's right for, because they are so underappreciated, because they contribute strongly to forming the structural framework of the society. My works are about myself. I view myself as my own model. So my works are basically like a documentation of my life, my experience and my event. So this is, these works are about my experience with my fam some of my family members 
who feel that being a slim person is like how I put it bad or something like that or maybe you are sick or something so um, through my works I'm trying to tell them to stop um, downgrading or body shaming people I'm also talking about body reflection perception in my works these artists embrace new heights of self-expression in this exhibition in Lagos Thank you.